first of all, let me just start yeah. by thanking Gap City, Run. Botswana, for holding me down consistently and loving me. And every time I yes, come sir. out, it feels like... How many times have you been here? Oh, Begin it, dog. Me and Bezo, you should like sit down and like listen to like some of the questions and answers with the girls you're interviewing. And they were lying. <laughs> they were, were like, lying, oh, right? Listen to these lies. They were lying, dog. <laughs> have you seen anybody that you smashed here before? Yeah. <laughs> oh, who is it? No, are you mad? <laughs> you had a Why So Party, bro. Critical, yeah. Why So Party has some of the most amazing women, bro. There's some of the most amazing women everywhere I am, TK. But, but, you know, I, I still... <laughs> worst sex experience? Worst sex experience. What was uh, it? It's when, um, like, you take out the panties and the coochie smells. <laughs> and it's like a pandemic in the city. Right. So yeah, don't you so. get thirsty, though? Do I get thirsty? How do you um, get by? How do you get by, Ruby? Niggas get thirsty for me, <laughs> but I don't get thirsty for niggas. So you what? You celebrate? Why is a white soul party always filled with a lot of hot honeys, bro? Because this is where it's at. You're me? One time. I mean, the girls wouldn't be here <laughs> if everything Brother else wouldn't. wasn't here. You know what I mean? It's Riley C music. As you each one is this one, turning this one. I forget the rest of the world. What's going on? My name is TK and welcome to it. You've just stepped onto it. The 2.0. Thank you very much for doing that. We are broadcasting from this amazing event. It's the YSO. So big shout out going out to my friends at YSO. And it's a collaboration between the YSO family, YSO friends, and the Juice 2.0. So big shout out going out to Banty as well. My homie, appreciate you so much, man. First guess. We had to run it into it because as soon as I saw him, I was like, yo, well, I lie. My boy, Tabs, like, yo, man, Ski Mask is in the building. Let's holler at Ski Mask. Let's talk about it. Let's talk to him, find out how he's feeling tonight. So, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for this bad boy. <laughs> Ski Mask, get the crowd out. <laughs> What's happening, son? I'm chilling. How are you doing? I'm straight, man. Good yes, to see sir. you. Good to see you. Good can to I, see can you. Can I have that after, after, after hey, we're done man. here, man? I can hook you up. <laughs> I can hook you up. Please hook a brother because it's icy, bro. You already know, man. But you're feeling good. How's, how's tonight? How's the why so? Ah, it's lit. It's lit. Yeah. I mean, when is it never lit? Like, it's always lit. So, is this your first time at the why so? Never. Damn. Come on. Yeah. Never. How many times now? What, Never. Okay, I've been here twice. <laughs> <laughs> Out here making it times. like it's, it's been 10 times. <laughs> but you're Am Amos Ski Mask. You're, you're a music guru. Yes, sir. You're a rapper. Uh -huh. uh, faded gang. You know what I mean? But tell me a little bit of something that I don't know about you. That uh, Yeah, something I don't know about you. And a lot of people don't know about you as well. Uh, I love dogs and plants. Plants? Like gardening. For real? I wouldn't say gardening, but like plants, like succulents. Yeah. Yeah, I love you know, that You shit. know who you would vibe with? Who? Kennedy Thaw. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because Kennedy's into plants, bro. He treats them I've actually like... seen some shit on Instagram. Yeah. So Definitely. dogs, huh? What's your favorite type? My favorite type? Oh, man, that's a tough one. Yeah. Woo! Dogs. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rottweiler. Do you actually own one though? Do you yeah. do you have dogs? Yeah, definitely. What's his name? I have a dog called Rico. 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 Yeah, that's my puppy. That's that's <laughs> my boy. Right now. That's my boy. I like that. Yes, sir. What you having in that drink, bro? Um, I'm having gin. Uh huh. Shout out Jin Lu. So is you that is that your is that your poison? Is that your first go to? All alcohol is my poison. Hey. Unfortunately. Hey, hey, that's what I'm talking. <laughs> about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've just built that way. Yeah. But yes, when it sir. comes to the music, man, like what's new out there? I haven't heard anything from you in a minute. Yeah, should we be sure. worried? Should we be worried? Um, I don't know if you should be worried. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I feel like it's it's about multiple streams of income right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I've expanded on my skill set. So that's what I've been on. Dope, dope. You know what I mean? And um, but I've got music dropping all the time, man. That's right. I just dropped some shit like two days ago. Two days ago? Yeah, two days oh, ago. Oh, congrats, bro. That's what I'm talking. What you drop? What you drop two, two days ago? I dropped a track called Lit No More, featuring Mfanagama. Yeah. He's from Map. Dope. Yeah, he's from the hood. He's from the gutter straight and man. I like that. Yeah, it's dope, man. He's dope. So when you say when you say you've you've branded into different income uh, revenue 
What else is there? What what are, what are you talking I'm about? I'm doing graphic design. I'm doing brand communications. <laughs> yeah. Marketing with Transform It, man. Yeah. If you need a everything from a company profile to a flyer, graphic design, that's illustration, dope. That's, that's dope. all that, we got it. One time. Yes, sir. Yo, we got a lot to talk about. I For want sure. you to go back in there. How's the hands looking outside, bro? Ooh. I don't even want to talk about it right <laughs> now. I'm compromised. I'm vulnerable. So, so, so. This is the question I'm going to ask all the all the brothers that are uh, that are coming to the podcast. Yes, sir. Like, why is a white soul party always filled with a lot of hot honeys, bro? Because this is where it's at. You hear me? One time. I mean, the girls wouldn't be here <laughs> if everything Brother else wouldn't. wasn't here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I feel you, man. Yes, Let's sir. catch up. Let's catch up a few minutes For or sure. an hour from now. Go back in there. Have a good time. Ah, Hashtag why so the juice 2.0. Yes, sir. One Y'all time, buddy. Know. Show. Appreciate it. All right. Hey, 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 hey. You already know we're keeping the party moving. We're keeping it hot. And you definitely know we're keeping it juicy. And he just got juicy right now because the homies in the building Ooh-wee. stepped on. <laughs> My man Ben T's in the bed. What's up, man? What up, bro? Finally, I'm on the juice. Dog. <laughs> Dog. This is the juice 3.0. This is not even two, right? 3.5, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, welcome to the podcast. Yes, sir. Thank you Appreciate for having you me, Appreciate so dog. much, man. We've been trying to do this for a minute. But but I think for you, we need like a bigger, yeah. longer yep. podcast and just find yep. out like the music and all of that. Go but because we're here, man, let's talk about freaking why so, man. Yes, sir. You see how it is, bro? Dog. Look at that right now. You see that? That's yeah. crazy, man. <laughs> so we, we was walking in with my boy. I was like, sheesh. Why does a white soul party always have the hottest honeys, bro? Hey, man, I mean, it's a white soul thing. Damn. That's just how it been, man. Every time. Yeah. It's nothing new. Yeah. You know, when you Do grew you up. like that's your brand now? Part of your brand? Yeah, I think it's always, it's not even panty. I just always have pretty hands around me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what it feels to be you, my <laughs> How it feels to be you. But apart from amazing, good looking people at the white soul, what else is so special about a YSO party? Hey man, it just vibes, man. You know, this, yeah. this is like one of the only parties that you can go to where right. a lot of local public figures are yeah. there and yeah. are having a good time. There's no VIP. No VIP. Everybody yeah. is VIP at the YSO. Straight up. You know what I mean? Who are some of the coolest people you've already bumped into, seen? A whole lot of cool Even just like the people that come to the event because they make the event. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. If it wasn't for them, YSO wouldn't be what it is. Right. You know what I mean? But, I mean, we got Miss GK. I just bumped into Miss GK oh, yeah, right yeah. now. I just bumped into Viso as well. Viso is here now? Yeah, yeah. Viso Dope. is out here turning up somewhere. That's Dope. Uh, Kumo is here. I saw Kumo Kwa yeah. That's what we're talking about just now. Uh, who else? Oh, a lot of it's people. A lot of, it's a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, so then oh, obviously, the, the vibe is there. Ne? But I needed to know, because this is my first time here at the yeah, YSO. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, man. And someone was telling me, bro, you should have been at the previous ones. Yeah. How many YSOs have, have, have So we've been? had, okay, I had, I started in December last year. Mm-hmm. And then I did one on my birthday in Feb. Dope. And then we did a winter edition at the warehouse in July. Dope. And then we did the summer, the summer welcome in October. Man. So yeah, that's the fifth one. Fifth one. Yeah, and that was the plan, man. Like from the beginning, we're like, okay, cool. From now until December, from yeah. Dece- that December, from that December to this December. Right, right. Let's try and do at least five events. And then in between, we had like club gigs that we bought AKA. Ah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, I saw Kuli Chan on the fly. Yeah, yeah, he's about Is to he pull up. He just texted me right now. He's like, yo, I'm on the he's way. He's night. Yeah, yeah, he's before me. On the stage. Yes, sir. So how do you get Kuli Chan? Because I also saw your pictures at some point on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stories, you guys were cooking something. Yeah, he came, he came through to my house in Joburg. You know, we were chilling. There's a lot of dope people around him. levels, though. <laughs> Like even, be, even to me, it's like, I'm like, oh shit, that's like to my house. <laughs> but like, it's, shout out to the people around him as well. You know, right, they believe right. they believe in the brand. They believe in the boys. Yeah. It's just positive energies, man. You know when the energies connect? Yeah. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened. I like that, man. Make sure the homie passes by the uh, by the podcast. The 100%. 2.0. Yeah, he, he said he's trying to tap in, bro. Like, he's trying to tap into everywhere because we have a couple of songs. We want to drop maybe next year. Amazing. Yeah, so right now, he just wants to tap into Botswana again. Yeah. got a lot of love in Botswana. Look, I don't want to talk about a lot of things because, you know, we need to reserve that for yes. like the longer hours. But like working with him, just quickly before I release you, right? How is that dude? How is it working with him? It's crazy, dog. Like for me, it was like, damn, a dream come true. Because growing up, yeah. I looked up to guys like Cooley, AKA. Right, right. And being able to like interact with these guys on a personal level is right, right. It's humbling. And also realize, it makes me realize that anything is possible. If you put, any, if you put anything in your mind. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. If you believe it, if you believe it can happen. Yeah. If you told me five years ago that we'd be doing this, I would, I would believe you, <laughs> but you'd be like, but I'd be like, it's like ah. maybe not now, maybe in ten years. Right, you know right, I mean? right. But I know it's definitely gonna happen. I like that. So the Sorry. next time we'll speak, we'll also talk about the move to South Africa, you back and forth, Everything. and all of that. 
We'll link it up. New music. Shout out, man. I'm glad. It's the first time I'm on the juice. I, I, I watch I watch you guys. I watch maybe every episode. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. From hey, the beginning, man. dog. Me and Bezo usually like sit down and like listen to like some of the questions and answers with the girls you're interviewing. And they were lying. <laughs> they were, like, were lying, oh, right? Listen to these lies. They were lying, dog. <laughs> I've been saying, bro. <laughs> but like listen to these lies, because we know these girls personally. So we're just like, anyways, I mean, <laughs> for the tube, right? <laughs> so the next time you come through, right? I might have questions based off of the previous interviews, and you tell me who was lying and who was not. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you see, TK, TK. Nah, nah, but maybe, maybe, maybe. Fam, I appreciate you so much, man. Shout out, man. Thank you for having us here. Also, yeah, let me appreciate you for real, because getting us here, you know, broadcasting yeah. and being for me, it's my first time here. Being part of the vibe, being part of the family, I really appreciate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. One Shout time. out, dog. Appreciate you, it, man. You added the touch, the you icing know. on top, just like that. <laughs> ben T. All right, so you've been here. We appreciate you so much. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, like, share, turn on that notification button as well so you don't miss any of this. This is amazing. It's still happening at the YSO, and it just got juicier, man, and I'm going to be saying this throughout the night. Frostbite just got on, stepped on to the 2.0. I need you to put your hands together for Freaky Frostbite. Hey, man. What up? What's freaky about me, son? What's going on, TK? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, uh. <laughs> What's, going What's going on, TK? How you hey, doing? man, I got love for you, love familiar. Yes, sir. You know, yes, first, sir. first because we shared, a, we shared a relationship at some point. Yeah, the radio show. The radio show. I got, I gotta thank you for that actually, cause yeah, it opened a couple of doors. Yeah. Oh, that's dope, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's dope. That's you, no you see. That's what I really, really like yeah. about relationships. You know, what I mean, opening a door and all of that. And uh, you, are, you are. Tell me what you think about you as a DJ in P Dub, because you know what? I have my perspective. A lot of people have their perspective. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to R and B DJing yeah. and just music DJing in general, right? By Frostbite. Yeah. But just tell me, like, when you look in the mirror, when you're doing your thing, man, how you really feel about you? Best there is. Best there is. Three words. The only, the only person that could, that is possibly better than me at R and B, yeah, is DJ Kells. Kells. That's it, DJ Kel. He was playing early on. No, 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 he wasn't. He was, he wasn't. That was me. That was For me. real? <laughs> that was still me, you understand? So if you're comparing me to the best, that, that means right, right, right. something. But yeah. best there, there for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now look, um, you know, I'm not a I'm not a a modest person. I'm right. not a humble person. Right. A lot of people want you to apologize for, you know, feeling the way you feel about yourself and about your abilities. Yeah. Right. So I may be a flawed human being, yeah. but I'm a fucking phenomenal DJ. And I know that, I know that for a fact, yeah. bro, lately, thank God COVID is over, right? Yeah. But dog, I, I see you on almost every poster lately, bro. Yeah. Almost every flyer lately. I'm working, man. I'm working. You're pushing. I'm working. Yeah. Um, You're definitely happy about that fact. Yeah, absolutely. I prayed. I prayed. I prayed really hard for, for days like this. Yeah. Um, that's why I like, because right now I'm fatigued. Uh -huh. I'm fatigued as hell, bro. Right, right, right. But, but I prayed. So I can't be like, no, God, too much, too much blessing. <laughs> you know, I, he, I can't be like, yo, God, give me blessings. And then right. he gives me the blessings. And I'm like, no, 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 not that much. Right, right. Right. So I'm actually very tired, but but I'm 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 grateful for the bookings. You know? We're gonna play a little game called free association, right? Okay, okay. My typical kind of girl is smart. What's your preference? Smart. Smart, smart girls. Smart. That's dope. You wanna have that deep conversation about smart shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, what what I do to get rid of my hangover? Uh, ice cold Fanta orange. Oh, that yeah. works. Yeah, for me. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. If there's some salt with it, so like maybe some eggs. Yeah. But definitely the ice cold Fanta orange. The most messed up thing that happened when I got super drunk was I fell and broke uh, and and messed up my knee, which oh, still hurts right now. <laughs> <laughs> what were you having, bro? What Energy, gets you? What bro. gets ah? You see, know, I knew it. I, I knew it. So that's your poison all the time. Uh, no, no, not all yeah. the time. I actually barely drink. Um, but but when I do, I like I like it. Yeah. yeah. All right. The last time I <laughs> last time I got laid was three months ago. Nigga lies. Nigga, stop tripping. Facts. Three months ago. Three months ago. What's happening? Not that there's anything wrong with it, but... No, it's just, um... Yeah, man, I, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Yeah? I can't, I can't actually answer, answer that. Right, right, right. Yeah, I don't but know. But it's been three months. Three months, yeah. How's the thirst levels, though? 
extremely high. Also, you at a white soul party, bro. Critical, yeah. White soul party has some of the most amazing women, bro. There's some of the most amazing women everywhere I am, TK. But but you know I, I still, <laughs> I still <laughs> ain't nothing humble about this. <laughs> Yo, Frostbite man, we could talk forever. Yeah. But I need you to have a good time at the White Soul. Oh uh, yeah, no, I, I opened up the party. I played uh, one of the earlier sets. Yeah. Me and my boy Max Sovana. Right. Uh, I had my boy Romeo out here. Dope. So we were the first to to set the. I movie. hope you get another set, bro. Cause I hadn't come when you were when yeah, you was on. Yeah, that's there's a lot of us, so I don't I doubt that's gonna happen. But you know, oh, we'll see. We'll it see is what, what it is. It is. Right. There's yeah. an after party though, so I'm hoping maybe. Ooh. You know, we don't know. Hey man, enjoy the rest of your night. You too, TK. Thank you for stopping by. I shout love out. you, my brother. Shout out, shout out, and shout uh, out. I'll shout see out. you soon. I will. One time. All right, my sister just stepped on the 2.0, <laughs> and man, <laughs> funny story, yeah. Funny story. At some point, we were looking for a co-host. For my podcast, when we're just starting out, really, and your name came up, really, and I was like, oh man, let me hit her up, really, oh my God, God answers prayers because <laughs> I've been praying uh-huh. for my name to come up in the right rooms. Yeah. So yeah. I guess. All right, I need you to state your name for the record. What's your name? My name is Masaho Mohasa, aka Was Good Chi, hey, hey, aka hey. Chi. <laughs> so please state the time and the date when you have when you last had sex. <laughs> when please, are you airing this? Please. St- <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a date? Um, le- let me say recently. Recently. <laughs> yeah. All right. How was that? It was good. Yeah. Yeah. Please satisfied. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the only sex you have in any way, right? Yeah. Also, I'm not a physical person. I'm more like an emotional person, so it's oh, an yeah, emotional yeah, yeah. connection. So it was. Yeah. When it comes to that experience, though, do you feel like you're selfish or, you know, it's a, it's a balance situation? It's, I think it's a balance. It's a balance situation. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And so when you come out to a white soul party, what experience is that for you? I know this is not your first time, yeah? No. Yeah? Yeah. How is a white soul party for you? A white soul party is a good party. Yeah. I won't lie. Um, Because it's on Sundays, I like... This one, I wasn't sure I was gonna come. Yeah, because the last time I came on a Sunday, I was work. I was at work, like looking like a mess. Right, right. So I, for that one reason, because I know it's always a jam. It really is. So this is my first time here. Really broke my virginity and really. Gosh, yeah. It's a good time. So I was worried about that about work and stuff, but I don't know. By two p.m. The FOMO caught me and I was like, hey, I gotta make a move. So it's a really good time. I need you to tell me. I need you to tell me about like what you've been up to, right? Because I know you're into TV, you're into production and all of that. The last time I remember something big about you happening was possibly the DSTV thing. Yeah. Is there anything else that's been happening? The Mouse Choice Talent Factory. Um, yeah, which was like two years ago. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, it was two years ago. Um, yeah. But I guess the promo was good. It was really if dope, People yeah. still think that's the... Yeah, I yeah. mean... Um, I've kind of, because of COVID, I kind of had to get a day job. Yeah, yeah. I was running my own company, 27 Pictures, and it was all right, you know, getting a few corporate gigs, doing short films and stuff. But I think I needed, well, growing up and bills need to be paid. So I got a little, I got not a little job. I don't want to minimize it. I got a job. Um, But now. How's that working? It's all right. It's all right. It's, uh, It's all right. It's just that I know where my heart is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it'll always be there. So anything outside of film will always be temporary, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's where I'm always going to go back to. Hey, I wish nothing but the best for you, man, because people like you, we're artists, man. Yeah. It's always going to be like a huge soft spot for, mm-hmm. for people like me. That, yeah. Would you actually consider like working with, with us over at the 2.0 for some things? Call me. Yeah. Where do I sign? <laughs> give, me, do I, give me the contract now. <laughs> yeah, I would. I think also... Yeah, I, I, let me just keep it there. Yeah, yeah. I would, I'd be. I, I, it, would, it would be a pleasure. I like that. I it like would that. be a pleasure. I'm honored that you would even say that, man. But when was the last time Chichi got mad at something? What was it? <laughs> just this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just this afternoon. What happened? Um, I was having a conversation with my. I, I don't know. I don't want to. Is it a boy, boyfriend? It's your boyfriend. Uh, my, my guy. Yeah. And it was yeah. So yeah, I got annoyed. Wait, also, before we continue, what's up with the, I don't want to call him my, what is he? What, why was that? <laughs> He's my person. We're okay. just figuring it out. Oh, dope. Yeah. Dope. Now, we've been 
together for a minute. Oh, like nice. almost two years now, but it's kind nah, of. that's your that's your person. Yeah, that's it's, he's my person. It's just yeah. that right now it's slightly complicated. So what do you do that got you so mad? He didn't do anything. He just wasn't saying the right stuff. You know, you guys sometimes. Yeah. And so I was like, eh, 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 eh. that's not how you. Your favorite app to use on your phone. I don't think I have a favorite app right now. Uh-huh. Twitter used to be my favorite, but I'm such. Ever since Elon got it, I think <laughs> my, a lot of my perception of things is so political. Yeah, 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 sometimes that I don't even realize it. But I, then I just stop going on it a lot because I was like, right. the way this is curated might not be the most yeah. beneficial for me because I understand how media works. So I just try to stay away from it. So I'll say Instagram. Instagram. Instagram is where I'm at. TikTok and Instagram. Dope. You make content on TikTok? Yeah, just a bit. Not like you. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not like you. We see you. <laughs> hey, like I'm the one know. asking the questions, all right? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah. But, but, 1,000 Pula, right? Courtesy of the Juice 2.0 and why so? Says you don't know what song is playing in the background. No, I 100%. You do? No, I don't. Oh, great. Ooh. <laughs> Dear Lord, I, I get to keep my you money. Say, nah, no, that's not fair because... You, let, if they were playing hip hop, I would have. Oh yeah, you're such a hip hop head. I yeah. know nothing about. Right. I'll dance, but I don't know. But you, <laughs> what the songs are. <laughs> hey, I need you to have a good time tonight. We will. I want to catch I you will. when you're a little, you know. For what? So that we get all the what juice out. What questions are you trying so to ask get, me? Hey, hey, you know the juicy stuff. No, you can ask me a juicy. I'll be. Let me tell you, I'll be more honest now than yeah? when I'm drunk. Really? Yeah. Uh, I doubt that. I swear to God. I will lie to you. <laughs> Have you seen anybody that you smashed here before? Yeah. Oh, who is it? No, are you mad? <laughs> you gotta try, right? You gotta try, right? <laughs> oh, so no. how does that how does that work? Like you see him, is there like a No, I think I just always I'm not a weirdo. Like Everything, everything that doesn't work out, I kind of seal up in a, a very adult way, oh, yeah, so yeah, that yeah. beyond that we can still, and it's not awkward. Right, right. Yeah, right. I wrap, I clean my shit up. <laughs> I clean my shit up, so it's never awkward. It's always a hey, oh, yeah. hi. Um, if I'm seeing someone, I always, I'll be like, yo, that guy. Right, right, yeah, right. He's weird. Just then that's that. it. Yeah. So there's no conversation at all. It's just like you know what. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I have relationships that. Like friendships that build beyond that, yeah. um, and sometimes not so much. But it's always tiny. I keep my shit tiny. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Never have I ever had a threesome. No. no? <laughs> <laughs> Why you always lie? <laughs> I saw that right there. Your face was like, nah. Next. Next. <laughs> Damn, dog. Next. Yeah, hey, you guys are living though. <laughs> no, stop it. Next. Next. For this real? Is going on. Please, my parents. My yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well. We, <laughs> no. we don't want to do that. <laughs> Never have I ha- uh, hit it off with a girl? No, I have. You have? I think I've been by curious before, yeah. but I know that I like. You like it? Parts. Yeah. yeah. Would you actually be in a relationship with another girl? No, it will never be that deep. Oh, because you think, like that, you know? Yeah, no, nah, I like I like me some men. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. yeah it, I think it would be unfair to the woman because it will never go that deep. Yeah. <laughs> It'll just though. be like physical and never be like emotional. Oh, so yeah, yeah. I try not to engage yeah. unless you both know what's going on. Right, right. Yeah. But like, what would you say? Relationships are amazing, by the way. Mm-hmm. But what would you say is your most amazing attribute in a relationship, in a love relationship? Me, I'm such a cuddly. You seem like it. Hand, I you like, seem like I'm, it. Yeah. yeah. I'm very like hands-on physically, but also like what whatever's going on in your life is going on in my life. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. you know? So, so I'm you're very involved in it. Yeah, sorry. I go if you have an event, if you have a family situation, if you have that's also going on wow. in my life. So wow. I think that's my strongest attribute. Like you you're never alone. I like that. Look, your person is a very lucky person. And I hope he feels the same about you. And uh, hey, he does. He does. He must. Yeah. He must. He does. <laughs> yeah. He Look. came back. <laughs> he came what? back. So. You guys had broken up. Yeah. For how long? Ah, uh, like a month, or, a month or two. A month or, or two. Something. Yeah. What infidelity? Someone had cheated. No, it was a. Lo- it became a long distance relationship, uh, and because yeah. I'm very, I was struggling right, with right. like the distance. Also, so. those don't really work, right? I feel like. 
No. I mean, to each his own. No, no, it's it very difficult. I won't lie. Yeah. It's it's been very difficult. That's the reason we broke up, and we're yeah. trying to figure out how to stop, like, to close the gap. So, I won't even lie. It's. Uh, I'm about I'm about to release you, but what do you love the most about your man? I mean, you took him back. What what did you what what do you love the most about him? Um, I think he, he listens without being defensive. Hey, a lot of men can't do that. Yeah, most he men. has. Most men. Whoa. As he's, he doesn't have an ego. It's oh, yeah, always yeah, yeah. It's always he, him and I at our purest, That's most beautiful. human form That's beautiful. when we're talking. So I'm never dealing with other his perceptions of the world or whatever else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always just me and him talking. I love that. So that's my favorite thing about him is I'm always just like dealing with him. That's beautiful. Yeah. Look, I'm about to release you. But before I do that, please look into the camera <laughs> and just say, Hi, my name is Dad and I was on the Juice 2.0. Okay. Hi, my name is Marcel, aka Buzzgood Shishi, and I was on the Juice 2.0. Wait, Appreci that's 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you so much, fam. Thank you for Enjoy having the rest me. of the night. Yes. I'm going to try to catch up just to find out anything else interesting that's happening tonight. Okay. But if I don't, hey, drive home safe and be well. We will be safe. Thank All you for having me. One time. And I can't wait to join the show. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> All right, all right. She is Ruby. Just stepped on the 2.0. What's yay, going yay. on, mommy? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm all right. Dude, you have the most amazing smile I know. One of the most Aww. amazing smiles I know. Thank you. It's beautiful. How are you feeling tonight? I'm okay. I'm feeling free, young, yeah, yeah. sexy. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's the white soul party after all. And and ain't no party like a white like soul a white soul party. So what's up with, with TK? Don't be asking me no nasty questions. Because like I just feel like people don't need to be knowing all of my business. Yeah. Like. What you up to, Ruby? What What are you really up to that you don't want us to ask about it? No, huh? I'm up to a lot. <laughs> but y'all don't need to know what I'm up to. But dude, let's talk about the more serious stuff. I know okay. we had a white soul party and right. we don't need to really get that serious. But what are you up to business-wise? What's going on? I am up to, currently I'm up to expanding. Yeah. That's all I can say. I'm up to right. expanding. Yeah. That's dope. And how's the fitness coming up? Fitness is good. Um... Yeah. Right now, I'm doing the personal training side, and I'm also doing the retail side. Amazing. So, it's complementing each other pretty well. Yeah. And, yeah, I'm just enjoying, like, helping, empowering women through Dope. fitness and getting women snatched. Of course. You know? Of course. Yeah, so, and you yeah. do it so well, man. I, I appreciate you. I appreciate your art. I appreciate your work ethic. I think the last time that you and I used to bump into each other a lot was at the gym, yeah? Yeah. And... Homie, you'd be doing a lot of crazy things that I can't even do. I'm like, how are you stretching this leg like that? Oh, Kuli China. Kuli China is in the building. Oh my Just gosh. step on the stage. Yeah, looking forward to, you know, Kuli. I love Kuli. Actually, let me not lie. Nasty C is my number one, but Kuli is there. <laughs> Kuli is there. Favorite nasty song? Um, there's Born to Win. Do you know that ah, song? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And that collabo. Oh my gosh. It yeah. literally makes it brings tears to my eyes because I feel I like that. They, they needed to collab. Yeah. Literally in my head, I'm like, if they could collab. Do you wish be... for a long, loving relationship like Nasty C and his girl Sammy? Uh, oh, for myself? For yourself, Oh, yeah. definitely, yeah. yeah. Just um, as soon as I feel like I'm... I feel like as a woman, it's... Why are we getting deep? We at the white soul. <laughs> oh, we at the white soul. <laughs> yes, I do. TK. You do. You yes, do. Definitely. Are you seeing someone right now, though? No. Oh, you you single? Yes. Currently, I'm focused on, like I said, expanding, expanding and getting yeah. my shit together. Right, right. Before I can um, love on another get person, with and another person. All of that. Seriously, like right. on a hundred percent level. Yeah. Right. So yeah, don't you so. get thirsty though? Do I get thirsty? How do you um, get by? How do you get by, Ruby? Niggas get thirsty for me, <laughs> but I don't get thirsty for niggas. So you what? You celebrate? Um, for the time being. You're in the streets? No. Nah, you're not in the streets. No. Right, right. Um, I'm a, I'm, I'm a soft girl in both ways. Oh, yeah. Soft girl in lifestyle. You know, I like to be taken care of. I like to be pampered. I like yeah. to... But I'm a soft girl also just like with my heart. I'm not... I'm not built for the streets. I'm really not. Yeah. yeah. As much as I would like to, sometimes I envy these girls in the street. I'll be like, girl, how are you doing How do you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but 
I I choose to be true to myself. Yeah. Just... Dude, dude, it's so good to see you. You too. You're an amazing person Thank and you, you know that for yourself too. <laughs> and that's just so what's radiant about you. You know how amazing you are. But I need you to go out there, mm -hmm. continue to have a good time. I and uh, once I'm done working here, I'm going to come out. We can share a dance. You teach me some of your moves, the Let's ones that it. we know too much. Let's do it. And then uh, be safe tonight. You too. Thank you so much, GK. One time. Oh, and um, all the best to you and the Jews. And um, we, we see you. Even if people act like they don't see you, they see you. We I see you. It, and man. you're doing the things. And appreciate it. It's, it's inspiring to see. One time. So you look in the camera and you uh -huh. say, my name is Ruby. Uh-huh. And I was on the Juice 2.0. My name is Ruby, and today I was on the Juice 2.0. No, yay, you yay. know, you know, no, you know. that's right. <laughs> Man, Gab City's boyfriend just stepped, just stepped. <laughs> Where did that name come from, bro? Uh, wait, are we on? We are on, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. All right. I don't even know, dog. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. So what, uh, you probably, you know, because the first thing that anybody was listening to that. So, um, I think when it happened, I was... I was very single and a lot was going on. I was yeah. Gap City's boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. What's the scandal? What's the scandal? The most scandalous scandal that's ever gone around social media about Lati? Um, I think is when my video got leaked where I had like two buddies and I was slapping them. <laughs> that was a threesome. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was gonna say, never have I ever had a threesome, but you definitely had. Yeah, a threesome. I, I have. How was that thing though? Multiple times. Huh? How was how's the how's the threesome, bro? A threesome. Uh, you just gotta be a man about it. You just gotta be able to handle two women. Yeah. Yeah. If you are a bitch, then you won't be able to handle. <laughs> and you say that looking into the camera, where it's like if you're a bitch. <laughs> Dog, because obviously, man, there's like a. Is there a clumsiness, clumsiness that comes with a, with a threesome? Like you're trying to stick it in there. It was you and two women, right? So yeah. what do you do? What do you do? You, you yeah, because I, I don't do... I, I've never ever... I don't like that uh, more niggas type of thing. Like oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I prefer, yeah. Because right. it's like, come on, dog. I can get my own chick. Of course. Anytime. anytime. You know what I mean? I don't have to have another nigga come in to help me. Right, right. You can I'm handle, pretty. You, you handle know what I mean? Yeah. Hey man, Lati, your life is nice, bro. <laughs> your life is nice. When was the last time that happened? Um, that was um, I think. Let me say, 2018. <laughs> <laughs> 2018. Yeah. And then there was smash or pass, right? Was there any scandal there, or people were just not ready for that kind of content? I don't think there was a scandal. It's just that uh, yeah. maybe people were not ready for that kind of content, like you're yeah. saying. People yeah. don't understand because it's uh, it's Botswana and it's a very conservative, uh, yeah, conservative nation. nation you, know, you know what I yeah. mean? So people get a little bit scared. People are afraid of what they don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I think um, they're starting to receive it very well. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's and it's just, still pushing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just that what's going on right now is just that uh, Botswana, when it's a Botswana doing some crazy, they yeah, they they judge it a lot, but yeah, when it's yeah. like from outside, come on, we grew up our whole lives watching the boat and the beautiful, and that was okay. <laughs> Hello there, do, Brooke. Hello there, Brooke. Do, you know what I mean? Right, that right. was a whole for life. <laughs> but when we do it right now, you know, people want to judge. So I did think just, it's that thing. Did you just say Brooke was a whole for life. She was a whole. Come on, she she <laughs> fucked um, rage. Uh, she fucked uh, Thorn, she <laughs> fucked Eric, and that's like father, sons. Dog, the bottom beautiful was crazy, bro. You know what I mean? So, it, yeah. Yeah, so people judge too much. She was a hoe. <laughs> and, 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 and it played every day on TV, on Botswana television. But, when, but if I ever wanted to air Smash or Pass on TV, they're right, probably going right. to judge it first. Right, right. Dude, who is the one celebrity in B-Dub that you would love, so love to Smash, bro? Um. Uh oh. I wonder what's going on in his brain right now. <laughs> it's like ding ding. Uh, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Just smash, not marry. Yeah, just smash. Oh, not date, we, could, huh? we could start with smashing. Yeah, just smash. Hmm. I can't say now, but. Probably back then it would have been Sasa if she didn't pass away. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He would have loved to. And then maybe date. Who would you love to date, man? Celebrity, beat up. Um, 
Nobody. I'm in a relationship. Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel that. How long you been in a relationship, bro? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Damn. So, Lati can be in a relationship and be faithful? Yeah, and I be can. committed to one person? I think I can, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's been working so far for two years, man. 100%. But what's like the, the hugest challenge when it's... Because you're a Lati, right? You're a celebrity mm. B-dub. There's obviously a lot of attraction and a lot of attention from the females. How do you work around? I mean, um, I just know that I know my worth as a man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, right. uh, uh, before, like, all you got to know is what's going on. Yeah. What's going on in your relationship? Are right. you right. Are you happy? Are you willing to lose it? Or are you willing to protect of it? Of course, of course. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, yeah. If you love the person you're with and you enjoy what's going on, then yeah. uh, you find a way I to keep that. it going. But uh, if not, then you just... To blow yeah. it away, yeah. Dog, worst sex experience? Worst sex experience? What was uh, it? It's when, um, like, you take out the panties and the coochie smells. <laughs> mm. And it's like a pandemic in the city. <laughs> in Gabs, like, it's a pandemic. Like uh, In Gabs, it's like yeah, that? Yeah, like, the, the, a lot of girls just don't smell so good. <laughs> yeah. Bro, Some I love cute. you so much, bro. Yeah. Like this nigga. <laughs> like guys, like um, it's like it's a pandemic in Gap City, yeah, bro. People don't know how to clean it. Like, first of all, like right, so the people like uh, ladies don't know that you don't put soap up in, there, uh, up or there, in you there. Know what yeah, I mean? yeah. Like you don't put soap there. You gotta make sure that, like, going to a gynecologist should be like a. Like a it regular be like thing. A regular thing. Yeah. Like every month you're going there to get checked. Right, right, right. You feel me? But people don't do it like that. It's just like uh, going to a psychologist. It yeah, be yeah. Like a you normal gotta get thing. it checked, yeah. Yeah, it's just like um, you go to the gym, just like you check Hore, what's my weight, just like you check Hore. Yeah, you know, anything really. HIV AIDS. Right, right. Those are all the things that should just be normal. But So what do you do, bro? What do you do, bro? Uh, like she pulls down the pants and then there's that smell. Do you say, ah, you know what, man, deuces, or you just kind of stick it out and... Nah, bro, I... <laughs> I if it's not good, I, I, I it's can't It's not happening. It. Yeah, it's not happening. But don't you and care about her feelings, get up. though? Yeah, there's that yeah. too, man. I can relate, bro. Yeah. I can relate, bro. Like, this dude will be like, yeah, hey, master, not tonight. It's not happening. Yeah. Sis. But how about, like, do you ever care about, like, her ego, like, trying to hurt... Like, She's obviously going to be hurt. Um, if it's a one night stand, then I don't know you yeah. nothing. If it's somebody in the you know, like things have been going well, yeah. then maybe I could just be like, yo, um, I know somebody who can help you with this shit because it smells bad. Here's a better. Uh, <laughs> you had me at the pandemic shit, bro. Yeah, you know they're pandemic. gonna come at you for this shit, right? You no, know, no, this is not, <laughs> nah, but they know that that's why they won't come at me. Because oh, ladies yeah. know. Oh, yeah. A lot of ladies know what it is. You know, uh, the vagina is something that you got to take care of. Here's a better question. Yeah. Is there any girl out there that's probably saying a worst experience or telling someone about a worst sexual experience with, with me? Lati? Yeah. Um, yeah, probably. I think yeah. everybody has a worst experience. Like, it happens. Uh, for example, maybe when you are so fucking drunk, because um, I, especially back in the day, I used to get so drunk. Yeah. But uh, like when you get so drunk, uh, sometimes we call you are ish. You can even you are not performing the it's way true. you want. To perform. Definitely. For definitely. example, maybe you can get so drunk that you can't even get up. Yeah. yeah. That's, true, so that's a true story. Yeah. Yeah. That is that can be a worst experience for somebody. For someone, ah, yeah. Come on, that's like right. we had an awesome night and this motherfucker got drunk. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and you know, then, for most ladies, like, is it me? And you know, it's yeah. A question sometimes about it themselves. could just be. It can be her sometimes, and sometimes it could just be because you're just fucking yeah, yeah, drunk. Yeah. Lati, I appreciate you so much, fam. Shout out. We just yeah. needed to say hi, and you know, I appreciate. appreciate it, I appreciate your content. I appreciate. You know what? I appreciate people that just break out and do something. A lot of people have it in their hearts for a lot of things, but they just don't go and you yeah. know and do it. So, kudos to you. I just want a Bomu. Oh shit! Best remix, yeah. For Radikana remix. Bomu yesterday, bro. Yeah, but uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm cool about it. Yeah. I want because uh, I believe that everybody can improve. I want. Yeah, yeah. But there was just a lot of uh, disrespect for artists. A uh, lot of uh, uh, lack of organization, lack of communication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But not even just that there was. Like, I mean, first of all, before we were told about it. What if I didn't want those motherfuckers to have my number? I feel you. You feel me? Feel you. And then there's just other funny things that happen. But um, I won't lay it down on the whole team. I'm just saying yeah. they, sh- they need to weed a couple of uh, weeds, say, and their team that is fucking up their whole image and their whole, I you know, that. what they're trying to I do. Feel that. But hella, hella, all I just want to say is um, I'm the niggas. I'm the nigga that nobody celebrated when I was starting. Straight up. How booty butt chicks happened was because um, we were not getting played on radio. I remember that story, yeah. I you remember get, that story. But now we're getting played and we're getting awarded for this shit. You know what I mean? So um, I just want to say shout out to everybody who who believed in the in the vision when yeah. it wasn't when like When it wasn't uh, as big as it is now. And you know what I mean? When it right. wasn't popular to do it. Right, right. So shout out to everybody and uh, shout out to everybody who put like uh, a verse on the track. Straight up. You know, because I, I had to, uh, you know, bring up a whole team. Shout out to Young Amazing because it's our song. It's yeah. our, it's a team. You know what I mean? Doug, yeah. congratulations. Thank you so and much. And so much more is coming your way, man. I can already say Thank it. you so much. I appreciate it, bro. One time, one time. All right, all right, all right. On the 2.0. We just got, hey, we just got big fish. You know what? It, big fish. We just got like, what is it? What is it? This is like royalty. This is like elite. What? This is like, <laughs> this is like top dogs. This is like big names. You know what I mean? In case you don't know, oh, you should know. Miss GK is put it up for her, Hi. man. What's going on? I'm great. Congratulations. Thank you. Arch, bro. Casper, your vest. Thank you. <laughs> Feel up. So you just came back, yeah? Yeah, when I got here, I'm like, no matter, what, no matter what happens, I need to come and support Benty. Yeah, how was that, man? It was overwhelming. Of course, yeah, of course. I was nervous most of the time. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. But it was happening. It was happening. It was happening, a, so I'm you, like... Yeah, but you know what? For, for, for a, a, a spot like that, stage like that, you gotta have the nerves, man. Even if you've been in the business for a long time. I did. Because it's Casper, and I saw the pictures, and I'm sure you're gonna be sharing uh, uh, some pictures soon. Yeah, I'm gonna share very nice, like, Insta Reel. Yeah, yeah. But thank you so much for stopping by here. Thank you so you much. You know, we still we still owe each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it's a lot. <laughs> you've been curving me. You've been curving me for. Nah. But you know I'm not that person. I know, I know. Yeah. I know. But I'm just glad to get like two minutes out of tonight. Yeah, it's okay. Are you having a good night? I am. Yeah. You know, I met Benty via his cousin. Uh huh. Called Shayla Mo. Right, right. Before formerly known as Shayla Mo Lelekwa. Right. So I got the chance to meet Benty. And then I was at Arby's because I resigned a month ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, this is the kind of music we need just to like shwing shwing our station. Right, right. So I've always really been about local music. Yeah. That's why I did the top 40 for a very long time. Of course, of course, yeah. Because I felt like this is the only state media. I work for state media, right? Yeah. People get to hear my voice across the country. How best can I use my platform to advertise or to introduce new music to them? So I've always been that person, always looking out for new music, new artists or whatever. So when Shayla told me about Benty, it was before he announced Naomi. Wow. Before, way before. Before that. So I met Benty and I told Shayla, I'm going to make sure my boss knows about this guy. So every time I hear something in events or via social media, I tell my bosses, guys, there's a new guy in town. Can you please, you know, get him in the system? Right, right, right. So it's always been me. So, and I'm happy that with Benty, it was a good investment. Because since then, it's been very consistent. And growing, and growing. And growing. You know what I mean? I like that. And now we're here. Why is it Sundays featuring Kuli Chana? And you know, yesterday, Casper's gig. Yeah. I'm like, yo, Kuli Chana. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow in Putana. Yeah, hey, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hey. Man, yeah. he's going to be coming up in a few minutes, I think. Yes. You're definitely looking forward to that, yeah? Absolutely. Man, you know what? The funny thing is that I'm so nervous asking you questions right now. Why? Dog, what do you, what do you mean why? What? No what, way. What do you mean why? Like, 
Kumo dog. <laughs> but look, there's so much to talk about. I don't want to exhaust a lot of things tonight. I needed to ask you how you left radio, why you left radio. I don't know if you want to talk about it now or we can reserve it for another I'll talk time. About it. We can talk about it. Yeah, why why um, leave radio? I lost my best friend last year. That's yeah, my mom. Your mom, yeah. I have a tat here. Condolences, by the way. I have a tat. I've got a tat here. Yeah. It's like a love machine. There's a date of That's birth. That's a date of birth. Yeah, yeah. So my mom was my best friend. Right. And you know this thing where like I like winning. <laughs> I don't like to lose, man. <laughs> yeah. So when my mom passed, I'm like, no, 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 no. I got this. You're still I'm winning. good. You're still winning. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> and then during the course of 2021 and 2022, I realized that I was struggling a lot. Ah. And I went back to the last physical conversation I had with her. It was two weeks before she passed. I'm like, you know what? I want to challenge myself. I want to challenge myself and do more than what I already know. Because many times I look down upon myself. I downplay myself a lot. Because hey. I feel like I'm not worthy. Hey, hey. I feel like I'm not enough. So, in the midst of my mom's chemo, I told her, I owe it to you to do better. So, I'm going to do better. And the first step is I'm going to challenge myself and tap into the African world, African markets. She's like, you know what? I give you my blessing. Man. So when she passed, it was like um it was a reality check. I'm like, you know what? My friend, my best friend is not here. So I need to do better for myself. Right, 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 right. I need to make myself proud. Yeah. I need to make her proud. And everything after her, it's always been about challenging myself. The first thing I did successfully was my restaurant, Kana Khang. I used to tell my mom about my restaurant. Yeah. She was she was really all for it. Right, right. I opened my restaurant. Yeah. I did more gigs. In the last night I was at Mafi King. You're at Mafi King, yeah. Hosting Casper's Philip Mabato Stadium. So you're already so, making your mom proud. You're very So for me it's all about pushing myself. I was a bit too comfortable for a very long time. So I needed a push. And I was like, Mama way, my I feel like it's time. She's like, you know what? Do it. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And because we had that conversation before she passed. It gave me the drive to do more. Right, right. That's how I opened in Kanak Khang. Yeah. I had the courage to leave radio for nine by years. The way. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. I had the courage to leave RB2. Yeah. And now I'm in a place where I'm going to break. I want to re strategize and think about what I want in the year 2023. Right, right, right. Right. right? But one of my plans in 2023 is to raise awareness in the Cancer Association. Ah, yeah. Because of my mom's condition, I had to learn new things about her condition. Actually, you didn't know any, yeah, yeah. Because she had a rare form of leukemia. Right, right. So I had to learn more about her condition. I had to ask a lot of doctors worldwide right. via my social media. So then I realized one of my ways of giving back to her and saying, look, I loved you, I yeah. love you. Yeah. And I care about you. Right. It's to understand more about cancer. Right. Unfortunately, in Botswana, really breast cancer and colon cancer. Only. 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 Yeah. But leukemia has many forms. I didn't even know that. So my mom had that rare form of cancer, which was CMML. So. So you want to raise say, awareness for that? Yeah. So yeah. Come on. You know what? Your life story is a beautiful story. Thank you. I'm so glad that we're talking right now. Like, and again, I will always say this. There's so much more to talk when it's you. Miss GKs. When I'm ready, I'll talk to you. you know? <laughs> when I'm ready. When you're ready, please give us the time. I'd be very honored to just sit down and talk. Maybe we can always do this at your restaurant. Absolutely, you're right? more than welcome. It'll be great, it'll be great. You are more than welcome. I love you so much, sis. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by tonight. Can I tell you something? Um, yeah. I don't know what people say. 
in Botswana, we're so small. Well, not a lot. We're just 2.4, 2.2, 2 between 2.1 and 2.4 million. Yeah. Whenever you're dreaming, dream beyond Botswana. Dream beyond Bot. I see what you do. A lot of people to them is just a thought. But you made an initiative to do something about that thought. Yeah. And you took action. Don't stop. It takes a lot of courage for someone to say, you know what? I'm gonna do this. And for you to stay there, yeah. it takes a lot of tenacity, courage, yeah. resilience. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I wish Botswana was so supportive, but it's hope. It's hope, yeah. yeah. It's hope. Corporates are going to join in, support. Amen. Botswana supporting every single day. That's right, that's right. You understand? That's right. But now, one thing I've realized since I was at Casper's show yesterday, Botswana needs to be more bold about their dreams. Ah. Your dreams are bigger than Botswana. Your dreams are bigger than Africa. Right, right, right. You understand what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. whatever you're doing, think, think than... beyond Botswana, think beyond Africa. Think the world. Because best believe, Ooh. wherever you go, yeah. if you're authentic and your energy is right, the world will Everything receive will it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I never worry about where I go because I believe in myself. Right. I believe in what I do. I know God gave me this talent. That's right. That's so wherever right. I go, it's just God. Do you know what I mean? Man. It's just God. Kumo, I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're already you're already getting me deep down into my like like yeah. the, the spiritual part of things and what you said about dreaming bigger and beyond bots and thinking Africa and the whole world, I took that. I really took that. And I appreciate you so much for those beautiful words. And one thing, uh -huh. they might not be compl complimenting you, right. but they're watching. Someone somewhere in the world is always watching. Man. If you don't get the views, yeah. it's okay. It's okay. But get into your head. Someone somewhere is always watching. The other day I was watching um, a video on YouTube about some guy. Yeah. Who struggled with views? Oh, so in the years that he was he was creating content, because he met somebody who was part of Oprah's team, uh, that person introduced him to Oprah. Wow! And now he works. Wow! In Oprah's team. Wow! So whatever it is that you're doing, somebody's always watching. Somebody's always listening. You might not you might not get the views that you want. You might not get the likes that you want. But if you trust in yourself and you believe in your dream, right. somebody somewhere in the world is watching. Somebody somewhere in the world is listening. And when the time is right, uh. I, the Lord, will make it happen. So don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Trust me. Thank you so much, Kumo. Oh my Thank gosh. Thank you so man. much. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your night, all right? Thank you so much. All right, be safe. All right, you're on the Juice 2.0. And, well, we saved... The best for last, man. This is a titan in the music industry. He's a rapper. He's South Africa. He's Africa. He's the whole wide world. He's that coolie China man. And he's at the building. Put it yeah. up, yo. <laughs> What's up, man? I feel great. What up, TK? You good? Dog, you were on the stage and every hit after hit and bro. everybody was singing along. Duh. How does that feel, bro? I needed it, bro. Yeah. It, that was like... Super therapeutic. Right, And right. it looks so gorgeous. It looks so great, bro. It I was gorgeous. taking the videos, right? Yeah. And every person was in my frame was singing word for word. Does that get, does that get, uh, is that, it still the same feeling from like five, it, ten years ago? It'll never get old, man. Yeah. But it's just those moments right. when it just happens when you, <laughs> when you need it the most. Right, right. You know? I get, I get a chance to speak to you like this and it's like a two minute chance, right? Yeah. But I gotta know, man, when you're on the stage, right? Is there like one particular track that's just like, yo, every time I get on, it's fire and everybody's in the same vibe? Yo, man, you know, I'll always consider this one my cheesiest joint. Yeah, yeah. But it, it just never lets me down, Which dog. Which one is it's this one? Not <laughs> 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 Yo, I'm not too bowing. But then there's, you know, there's joints where we kind of throw it back like right. hazardous that, you know, will... I always catch like a really fine hun, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, in the crowd, rapping word for word. That's and right, that's yeah, right. Man, that, so that'll never get old. But tonight, it was like pound for pound. You know what? I was I was talking to a friend of mine off stage. Yeah. And I was like, 
for Kuli Chana to have been in the game for this long, right? And still be able to capture the crowd, young crowds, Man. people that are still coming up, and be able to say, how does that feel for you? I wanted in my mind, yeah. like if I was an artist like Kuli, yeah. and I've been in the game, still in the game, still pushing it, but the vibe is as dope as it is. Yeah. How does that feel? Oh man. I think that's the Bro. That's the one thing I am most grateful yeah. for. Right. Is the the timeless music. Yeah. The being able to to survive the drought. Timeless being, music, timeless. Yeah, music. being able to, you know, uh, having the kind of music that ages so well. Straight up. Trust me, bro. Every time, like tonight when I came out yeah. and I saw how young the crowd was, I was like, right. oh, it's like, man, <laughs> this might be a tough crowd. That's nah, right. You know, so. I'm happy about that, my brother. And congratulations for the longevity. Yeah. Congratulations for, I know there's a lot of things that are coming up. Yeah. But uh, also, let's be human. How's the family? How's the wife? How's oh, everything? Oh, man, we got a little. Yeah, young yeah, yeah. Dude, you know. We got a young, uh, got a young King, buddy K, in there. King K Junior on the way. Um, Congrats! And yeah, man, it's what a what a year! Wow, what a year! Also, you know, we lost so many man. this year. Yeah, yeah. But this is the year. I also just kind of, you know, um, I feel like I, 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 I picked myself up and I made some amazing things happen. You know, right, for myself right. and my family. I like that. I mean, I'm about to wrap up my post grad. You know, uh, Bro. yeah, innovation, entrepreneurship. Yeah. Went back to school after 20 years, launched the Kuli Chana Studios. You know, we about to. Oh, after after the whole story with the with the other place. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So we, we launched the Kuli Chana Studios this year. We got a project with Jaeger Meister called the uh, Concert in a Bottle. We just went live on the first of December. Beautiful. Yeah, you know. It's a lot of things. A lot of things. A lot is of that power? Things. Is that power? Is that power? Yeah. My brother, thank you so much. I know you're in a rush, but I really thank you for the minute that you stopped by the Juice 2.0. Thank you. Thank so you. we're a young podcast that just started. And uh, the numbers are doing great, yeah. but we're really all about the industry. We're really, up, we're really about the, the industry and the market. That's the art, yeah. the entertainment. And you guys are really what we're looking forward to sit down every day and chat and find out like what's really going on with Kuli. Yeah. So in the few seconds that you're with me now, what do you want to tell the listener and the person who's watching this video right now? Hey man, I'm going to just say, first of all, let me just start yeah. by thanking Gap City, right. Botswana, for holding me down consistently and loving me. And every time I yes, come sir. out, it feels like... How many times have you been here? Oh, man. I've been you can't here count too. that. You can't count that. I thought they would have been over, over me by now. But yeah. you know, the love here, man, is fresh. Every time I come out here, it feels like the first time. Right. And yeah. So thank you guys. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. One time. And I want to say for, for all the musicians, the artists, the creatives, it's just keep at it, bro. One time. Yeah, you just never stop until they put flowers on you. And you look Love. really nice, bro. You're like, y'all special. That's why I had a look. <laughs> <laughs> what love, TK? God bless you, Kuli. Thank you for today. Peace. And God bless. What's going on, YouTube? My name is TK of The Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that. It's Riley C Music. <laughs>